Kyle, this is your father talking to you. Since the day you were born in Greece in 2001, I knew you were a special kid. And I've watched you become the man that you've become through basketball, through academics, and through everything else that you do in your life. You're a very humble kid and God has blessed you immensely. You have a family that loves you. You have a community that loves you. And I know you'll do great things. And by the rest of your family being basketball players, you were the first one to deviate and become a football player. And you told me at that time that basketball is for, I can't say what I want to say, but you know what I'm saying. And the, the things you've done to make me and your mother proud have been immense. And we're looking forward to the things that come to you in the future. This step is just like the step from high school to college, but now this is a profession. It's your job, take it seriously, and know your dad loves you. Love you, son. That's dope. That's dope. That's kind of crazy. Uh, that's dope. I have no words. It's cool. It's because, like, people don't really talk like that all the time. It's cool to see it. And uh, I appreciate it for that. It's, it's kind of words. I had no idea that we'd land here. You're working hard to be in this position. Soak it in. Enjoy the moment. Today is the first day of your next chapter with blank pages for you to script your story. There's nothing I could ever do to give back to her, but I'll do the best I can. So I appreciate that, Mom. Thank you. Son, you made it. You're here. Congratulations. I am so very proud of you. It's been a long time coming, but we finally made it. This is only the beginning. You have so much more to do. God's got it. You do your part, and remember, he's going to do his. Mama love you. I'm so proud of you, son. That's, it. No, that's dope. Thank you. Thank you. I, we, we go to the end and back. And, you know, I appreciate you for everything you did for me. And now that we're here, I just can't wait to, to go back and celebrate with y'all and, and just keep rejoicing and just keep striving for greatness. You got, like, specific goals that maybe you guys have talked about, like, since you were little? Um, just inspiring. <laughs> Be somebody to somebody. She always told me that the greatest way to leave your legacy is to do it through people. Hey, son, you finally did it. You finally have achieved your biggest goal in life, and that is to be an NFL football player. This is a really slightly emotional for me right now because you wrote a letter in the ninth grade, and you basically wrote your life. Your ninth grade teacher gave it to us, and you said that I'm gonna be the number one tackle in the country coming out of high school, I'm gonna play on a division one level and I'm going to the NFL and you've done it just the way you wrote it you manifested this you did this I am so happy for you and I'm just at a loss of words right now it's incredible we're at the draft you just got drafted Evan you did it you really did this I, I I'm at a loss of words right now you left home when you were 15 and it wasn't easy. You gave up a lot. You should be proud of yourself today and the man that you are. You did it. We did it as a family. We love you. I love you. And you'll always be mama's baby boy. I'm going to give you the truth. <laughs> you make good choices, good things usually happen to you. Bad choices, then guess what? You know what? You always know what usually follow bad things. Thus far, you made tremendous choices uh, and you've had tremendous success. So I'm going to ask you to continue down that same path in choices. And I'm going to ask you to stay humble. And I'm going to ask you, you know, to always understand that, um, you know, there's nothing more important than the, to be to be honest with yourself about whatever it is that that goes on here, the glitz and the glamour and the money and, the, you know, and all the all the charm and all the other things matters doesn't matter. The only thing matters is, you know, whether or not you're going to be true to yourself and the choices that you're going to make out here right now. So you know me, I'm I'm um, <clears throat> I'm no frills kind of a guy, and uh, contrary to what you think, I'm not a drill sergeant. <laughs> uh, I'm just your dad that that wish the best for you, and uh, I'm going to continue to be in your corner. And um, 
You know, I know I don't say this very much, you know, uh, uh, but I do love you and your mom and your kids and everybody, you know. I know you always see me as a workaholic and, and that guy that's always serious about life. I, I, I'm that way because guess what? Life is serious business. And, um, you know, but this is a lighter moment. And, um, you know, I want you to understand that uh, I do love you. And that's all I got to say. That was amazing. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, thank you, Mom and Dad. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you guys' hard work. Uh, so just to see that message, it definitely kind of got me emotionally, y'all, you know, te tearing on my heartstrings. But I just love you guys so much. Uh, you guys are a major, you know, reason why I'm doing all of this. So uh, for sure, I'm going to continue to make you guys proud. Dear Garrett, congratulations, son. This is but a step in your illustrious journey, but a day to celebrate. You have been an absolute joy to parent, and I'm, I miss you in my life every day. Our LeBron arguments versus Jordan, uh, watching games with you, well, some of that stuff just hasn't been the same since you left to go off to college. I remember. I also remember that when you were born, you were not so well. The outcome was not certain. People prayed for you all over the country. I have always believed that that gave you a little something extra. I remember that. I remember the bouncy little boy playing with his sisters and brothers. I remember the joy I saw. I remember the love. I remember telling you that your destiny was to be a great man since you were a little boy. You were a kind and loving boy who has grown into a kind and loving man, a great friend, a good brother, a great son. I remember. A tough competitor. Boy, were you tough. You led your team to an AU championship when you were 12, then a DYA championship the same year. Then you took your team and scored a touchdown in the state championship of Texas. You followed that up with a great career in college. Greatness every step. The one memory that I have that is most vivid to me is in 2017 semifinals in Texas against a great Judson team. You just wouldn't let us lose. You were just great. I remember. You've given us so many things to remember. I want to give you a few things to remember too. Choose good friends. One truth teller, just one. It's worth 50 yes men. Yes men always want something. The truth tellers risk it all and tell you the truth because they love you. Anyone who deters you from your success and your destiny, no matter who, no matter what, let them go. Seek greatness, which is your destiny, not wealth. If you are great, wealth will come. Seek influence not power. Influence is a testament to your brain, your character, and your heart. Own your mistakes. Apologize. Move forward. Seek respect, not popularity. Popularity is fleeting, phony, and ultimately childish. Respect sets you apart from everyone. People will talk. People will say things. Don't listen so closely, friend. What people say really is just talk. What you do is really your character. Stay humble. You're great at this. You're a very humble person. But stay humble even when everything that happens says you shouldn't be. One thing I want you to remember, your family is not dependent upon your success. It is dependent upon every one of us to continue to be successful people that we've been and to continue to grow. It is not dependent upon you. We're just gonna be here to watch, witness, and love you. No pressure. There will be tough times, hard times, rough times. Pray so that when you look back on the arc of your life and you see how you've come through tough things, you'll look back and realize, wow, I didn't do it alone. My pride right now is um, off the chart. 
Um, you've been a wonderful, wonderful child, and you continue to be. But here's the most important thing that, that I want you to think about. The best thing about you is you're a wonderful person, a great human being. Remember. That was awesome. I appreciate that. You know, all the things that I was raised on, you know, uh, all the things that got me to where I'm at right now, you know. Just to see that message, it was really special. Special. Pops, I love you so much. Um, and I appreciate your message, you know. It takes all the pressure off me, and uh, it, mean, it meant so much to me. So I love you, Pops. What up, bro? It's been a long road. We ain't had arguments. We didn't, uh, we didn't seen eye to eye. We didn't ran together, we didn't ran apart. But it's all for this. Today your day. You told me a long time ago. Top 10, I merch. I believed. You believed. Some didn't. Oh well. Today, you get to rejoice. One deep breath, then it's on to the gold jacket. I always remember though, together we strong, separate we weak. One love, bruh, one love. It's obviously really proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't have much to say. Uh, these are the messages I got. I've been getting since uh, the end of the season. And let me know, like, the, pro the path I'm on is just different. Uh, now it's finally here. Uh, first step of the way. It is, it's, it's, it's a new start, but it's a new beginning. Also, you know, just looking forward to it. Devin, congratulations, coming from Ms. Lisa. I love you. I can't wait to see what the next chapter uh, holds for you. Love you again, and we ready for this. We ready to see what else is next for you um, in your next endeavor here. Nephew, me, Uncle D, man, I just want to say I'm proud of you, man, proud of all your accomplishments, man, proud of everything you've done to this point forward. Uh, it's hard to believe, man, to seeing you at A6 up to now, man, to see all of your accomplishments, man, everything you've done, man. We just are proud of you, man. And, and to be your God there for almost 17 years, man, they've been a pure joy, you know. And uh, But I always have to say one thing, man, that uh, we're not really surprised, man, because you always demonstrated on how goal-oriented you are, man, and how driven you are, and how ton of vision, the ton of vision you always had. For example, I remember before the college season started in Utah, uh, came to the house, we all talked, me and you talked and chopped it up a little bit. And uh, I just asked you, I said, Devin, what's, what's, what's some of your personal goals? And you looked me square in the face, you said, Uncle, I want to have a, I want to win a Pac-12 championship, I want to be All-American, and I wanted to go number one in a drought. And the only thing I said to you is that you can do it, and I believe in you. And I look back now, we recollect and reflect, and look what happened. So uh, we're just so proud of you, man. You know, I just want to encourage you to keep on in your next chapter of life. Keep doing what you're doing. And always keep the priorities we talked about in your life as well. It's God, family, and football. So keep those priorities, man. And just know, man, that whatever mind believe and conceive, it will achieve. Because we love you. And I just said one last thing on behalf of the Lord family, the Johnson family, the Glenn family, the Grady family, uh, Longman and his family, Paul and his family, Minnie and her family, and your two boys, Kyle and Christian, we all love you. We all support you, and we are your biggest fans, man. So in closing, hey, keep your hand in the dirt, keep wearing your hard hat, because guess what? You officially have a job now. We love you. We love you. And we out, man. Oh, I love that. Man, Uncle D, man, Miss Lisa, uh, thank you guys. Um, I love you. Um, shoot, I don't know what to say, <laughs> but thank you guys. I love you. I think we've had that exact conversation like probably less than a day ago. Day ago. So, um, but you know, I'm just really, really grateful for 
you know, them, to have them in my life. And I mean, everything, you know, about the conversation really, um, you know, was from the heart. So that means a lot to me. Congratulations, Jermaine. Mommy's so proud of you. We're all so very proud of you. Um, you've worked really hard. It's been a long journey, but it's all in God's plan. And um, just enjoy it. You so deserve it, and we love you so much. Jermaine, this is Graham. I wish you the best and on congratulations on your journey. Remain humble and grounded, and everything's going to be okay. So congratulations again. Love you. We all love you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Good. I think that's okay. it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I still want to run away from this. <laughs> so oh, that's awesome. I just want you to know that uh, me and your mom, we love you dearly, and we appreciate the hard work that you sacrificed for the family. Um, you are a good guy. I want the whole world to know that you keep God first, and he is the cornerstone in everything that you do. And you set an example for young kids what hard work is. We all know where you came from, um, and it's, it's amazing that you have made it this far in life, and we're just grateful to be a part of that. And whatever team that you choose to be on, we know that you will be the man of that team, and the whole world will know who Jermaine Johnson II is. Congratulations. Jermaine, I don't know where to start, son. <laughs> this has been one heck of a thriller. Your life is a motion picture, one of epic perseverance, adversity, and faith, son. You have paved the road for your brothers to travel. We are all very proud of you and what you have been able to achieve. Now your life enters another phase. I have zero doubt that you'll take all lessons learned from your life's journey so far and continue to apply them for what I believe will be the absolute best chapter of your life, son. So no, we love you and support you on on your continued journey called Life Son. Go Nose. <laughs> Go Nose, baby. Go Nose. Wow, that's awesome. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, I, mean, I gotta keep it together. Uh, but no, they're the best support system you could ask for. And, um, you know, they don't ask for anything. You know, they just, they just push and support me. and. I just wouldn't be here without them, so you know I'm glad that you know they've been here with me because they're the best. They're the best support system I could ask for. That's awesome. You know, I love all y'all guys, all you, all you guys, and and um, you know we're, we're gonna have a great life moving forward. And and uh, you know I couldn't I, I couldn't do it without you. So thank you, and I love you truly. You know my mom always said that uh, that uh, you know I was different, and you know I went and got what I wanted. And um, so and I feel like if I tell the kid that. Uh, Especially, you know, I'm the first one in my family to do anything remark remotely close to this. Um, so, you know, he'd be like, wow, really? But, but then he'd be like, okay, I'll get it done. You know, I, I, know, I know the kind of kid I am or I was. So uh, it's really awesome. And, you know, I'm, I'm extremely thankful. And um, he's right. God, God is the cornerstone to everything I do. And um, I wouldn't be here without him. Um, so I'm very thankful. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. That was, that was really, that was really freaking awesome. Do I get this video? Yeah, we can send it. Cool, yeah, I want that. You Thank you. Can I take it off? Okay. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Wow. Thank you guys. That was really, that was, that was probably the coolest part of the night. Christian Josiah Olavi, say my full name. <laughs> uh, the day is finally here. Congrats on achieving your dreams and being a first round NFL draft selection. All the hard work I've seen you put in uh, has finally paid off and I can't put it into words how excited and happy I am for you brother. I've had a front row seat and have been with you every step of the way and how it took a, a lot to get here. Never forget the humble beginnings we've come from like uh, working two jobs and our like mom working two jobs and us barely seeing her someday so she could uh, support us. Or dad working all night for 20 plus years and still finding time to coach our teams, work us out or drive us auto over the country to camps, tournaments and colleges. Football has been so great to our family and has been a common common bond for our family as, as well. I will forever cherish what sports has done to shape me, you and Josh. It has given us our competitiveness, but also a support for each other in everything we do. From all the beaches we've ran, all the hills, every stadium, uh, step to getting yelled at by dad for playing hallway basketball or couch football was all worth it for this moment. I am thrilled and thankful for what, or that you have elevated the Olave legacy and set the standard for the rest of our family to achieve. Who would have thought 
a young shy kid from San Ysidro, California, would go from a skinny three star recruit to one of the greatest receivers in Ohio State's history, an All America team captain, a first round selection, but most importantly, a college graduate. I admire how you went on your own for the first time across the country and handled business. I thought it was hard, and sometimes you wanted to quit and give up. You came out on top, and I am so proud of you, brother. I could write for days on how proud I am of you and your accomplishments and how happy I am to be your big brother, but I'll close it with this. No matter the highs and lows, on your deepest, darkest days, or the, high, or the brightest, highest moments, I will always be here for you, support you, and love you no matter what. Brother, congrats on your special day, and the work is just starting to become one of the greatest. Do you want to be good or be great? Remain humble. Continue to work hard and always keep that smile on your face. Love, Zay. Wow. That's crazy. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> man, I, I love my family, man. I love my brothers. And it's mean the world to me, really, uh, besides all the success and everything I've done. Uh, my brother's always my closest friends, my best friends, and uh, just to receive this uh, means a lot to me, and uh, I can't even put it into words, really. And, uh, I love, like I said, I love my family, and uh, that's, that's always been uh, so much to me, and uh, I appreciate this for real. Um, I honestly don't have the words to put together to summarize the feeling that I have regarding you and being one of your parent. Um, I've watched you since you were a little boy grow and do spectacular things. I've admired you since you were a young man and I've watched you blossom into one heck of a young adult and being able to come along with you on this ride and this journey has been amazing for us. And I, again, those words that I just mentioned don't even summarize or begin to scrape the surface of <clears throat> how proud I am and how happy I am for you. Um, I always tell you that a lot of people never meet their favorite athlete, but I've had the pleasure to watch mine and raise mine his entire life, and I love you. So today is your day. I am so proud of you. You've worked so hard for this. Um, it seems like yesterday you were putting on Pop's helmet and <laughs> pads and, and uh, tackling all of our cushions and our pillows in our living room, even putting a hole in the wall. Uh, you know I'm not one for cameras, um, so I did write you a letter that I want you to read because I'm trying <laughs> not to cry right now, but <laughs> I'm very proud of you and I love you. Hi, Drake. Um, this is a crazy moment. They asked some of us to say a few kind words for you, and um, I never told you because I've been waiting for this moment, but. Um. Sorry. Um, sorry. Um, all the journals I've ever kept, I have prayers for you. Sorry, I can't do this. Um. Um, being your older sister, there was moments where I was just trying to figure my stuff out, but I found myself more concerned with you and where you were going and what you were doing and making sure you was good. We all were. Um, and just seeing you grow into the person that you've shown us since you were a little boy is just my biggest gift in this life, to see someone who's always dreamed and wanted something and no one told him to want this. No one told him anything. You just love something so much and you dedicated your whole life to getting it. And I know you're my little brother, but you're my hero. Um, you taught me so many things. Um, the person you are, not just the player, but the person you are. We need more young men like you in this world. You are so compassionate, kind, caring. You're a team player. You're concerned with how other people are doing. Um, and you want everyone to shine and do their best just like you. Um, getting to be around you and spend so much quality time with you growing up is like some of my favorite memories in this world. And 
We would just spend hours talking about where we're going to be and what we're going to do when we grow up. And I, I can't live, I can't wait to live in our dream house next to each other. Um, I'm so proud of you, Jakey. I love you. You deserve it. Y'all cold. That's not cool. Nah, but I don't know. I want to make y'all happy. I want to make y'all proud. Um, that's what I truly do it for. Um, it's the name on my back. It's the people who are in my household every day. Um, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be this hard, but I can say we did it. Zion. Mommy couldn't be more proud of you. I'm so excited for what your future holds. You worked so hard. <laughs> you worked so hard for this, and I could not be more proud. God has ordered your steps, and you're a man of God and a man of faith, and God is blessing you and our family. I love you, I'm so proud of you, and these are definitely tears of joy. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you and the young man you are. I'm most proud of your strength of character and integrity and the person you are. You have always worked hard and today is just one more example of your dedication to excellence. You are a shining example and model to so many. Always remember that you are loved and blessed. Stay hungry yet humble. Love, Uncle Stacy. I mean, my mom, she's everything to me. You know, she had to sacrifice a lot for me to be where I am today. Um, single mother, and she had to give up a lot of her life in order to raise me, uh, in order to, she worked hard so I can go to the schools I went to. You know, when I first went to Davidson, I wasn't on scholarship. You know, that money came out of my family's pocket. And when I went to Boston College, the goal for me was to help my family, you know, to take away that strain. And to be here today, it just means a lot. It means a lot to know that, you know, I've done it and I can, I can help my mom. You know, she doesn't have to sacrifice for me anymore. I can finally give just a little bit back of what she gave to me. And then my uncle, he's been like a father to me my whole life, you know. And I'm just so glad to have them both here to witness this. So, so mom, Uncle Stacy, I love you both. And you know what you both mean to me. Um, and I'll continue to, you know, do what makes you proud, to be the man that, you know, makes you proud, uh, to have integrity and to strive for excellence. So as, as a young boy, whichever sport you wanted to play, you always made it. You made the basketball team and the football team. In the classroom, you were also great. You always did your very best. You had determination, motivation, dedication, and perseverance. You never gave up. You had such a great stick, stickiness those are great qualities for whatever you want to do in your life. We love you, Charles Ellis Cross, and we are proud of your achievement. achievements. I always keep God first. My brother, since we were young, you always had a great work ethic. You have grown, you have, you have grown up through life, only being tested. Like Pops, like Pops used to say, never take a wooden nickel. You have, been, you have, been, you have proven countless times that you've been ready for today, your big day, I'm proud of you. You have followed the process and now you are rewarded. <laughs> nah, this love though. I, I love my brother, my brother and my mom so much. Um, nah, they're really a big part of my life. Um, my brother taught me a lot of lessons. Uh, I feel like he made me, made me a tough, a tough uh, individual, uh, mentally and physically. Um, my mom, my mom just made the world to me. Um, so to be able to be in this position, uh, it means a lot. Oh, uh, mom, mom, I love you. I appreciate you for everything you do, you do for me and have done for me. Uh, and to my brother, uh, I love you, bro. Uh, I appreciate you for making me tough uh, mentally and physically. Appreciate you a lot. So is there a chance for a retake? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ikem, uh, congratulations on your NFL draft. Uh, we're very proud of you. You know, I think there's no script on how to raise a child. Um, so 
I tried very hard. I think your mom tried also to raise you uh, to be honest, humble, and um, hard working in all your endeavors. And most important is to treat every human being the same. I hope I've achieved that. I hope we will achieve that. Um, so going forward, uh, I think you're, you're going to be a good football player. I have no doubt that you're going to be very successful. Uh, my concern is that you don't have the NFL change who you are. Uh, with your success, uh, we expect that uh, you're going to remember where you came from, those who, who kind of um, supported you to get the way you are. Uh, stay humble, continue to work hard, and be honest, and uh, really also trying to mentor those who look up to you. Um, and again, congratulations. Uh, we're very, very proud of you. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> congratulations, Iki. Ikem. Um, that has said it all. We are incredibly proud of you. From the very first flutter, I knew you were going to be great. I knew it. You and your brother have continued to make us proud in all you do. There's no goal you've set for yourself that you haven't achieved, and there's no goal you will set for yourself that you will not achieve. Just remember your name. Your strength will never be in vain. Your effort will never be in vain. Um, your strength will never run out. Okay? Give everything you do your best effort, and you will see the fruition as you're seeing today. Congratulations. We're incredibly proud of you, and uh, we can't wait to see what comes next. I appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, my parents have been my greatest supporters, you know, my whole life. Um, to kind of be able to share this moment with them, you know, it means a lot to me and it's something that I, uh, it's a moment I'm going to cherish for life. I just say thank you so much for everything you've done for me, the sacrifices uh, that you've made um, and everything I do on this football field, I, I want to just honor you guys. Congratulations, Sauce. Uh, long time coming since uh, I told you in your freshman year that when you get drafted, then I'll start calling you Sauce. So. Uh, the time is here. I uh, can't tell you how proud uh, not just I am, but so many of us are. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you've done for our program. Uh, the example that you've set even, even far outreaches um, all that you've done on the football field. Uh, your ability to be humble, stay humble, continue to work, uh, be an incredible example to all the guys around you, be a leader, make other people around you better. Uh, I thank you uh, for all that you've done the entire program, um, but also for me, for my family, to give us this opportunity to be here with you tonight uh, is something I'll never forget. So you deserve this uh, more than anybody else. Uh, enjoy it. This is, uh, this is a special moment for you. So Ahmad Sauce Gardner, congratulations. Uh, Bearcat forever, and we love you. It's crazy, man. Man. It's crazy. I did it. I don't know what to say right now. I appreciate them for just believing in me. You know, like, I came in, I was the smallest freshman. You know, and he just trusted me and just threw me in the fire and just put me in the, in the game. You know, and I, I was able to make the most out of the opportunity. You know, I don't think if I was a coach, I would have threw myself in the game, so you know, I just appreciate him for just trusting in me and believing in me. And I feel like it all paid off, you know. Uh, I'm just happy, man. You know, I told myself I was going to be just chill, but, you know, just seeing that, you know, him calling me sauce for the first time, you know, that's just a blessing, man. I just want to say thank you, man. Aiden, wow. Uh, I can't believe this just happened. This is what we've always dreamed of. This is where we're at. We've got to this point. This is another step along your awesome journey. Your mom and I could not be happier for the man you become, the, the leader you become, and the legacy you've left for the Hutchinsons. So here's a card I wrote to you on your 17th birthday, and I've <laughs> saved it all these years. You saved it in your room too, and I just have to read a little bit of it out loud. It is so important in light of, of what you have accomplished. And it says, I love the word revelation because in these years to come, that's exactly what I want you to have, revelations. Whether it be huge successes or even attempts at success, each experience will bring on a host of new discoveries about yourself. And then you keep going. You just keep going. Something I have always said to you, that before you do anything, which I said to your sisters too, 
I tell you all to breathe in God. And I told you never to forget that, and you haven't. And whatever you do, do it with enthusiasm and inspiration, and you will be unstoppable. You have surpassed and fulfilled your wildest dreams to this point, and there's just so much more to come, and we couldn't be prouder of you tonight. Your dad and I, of everything you have given up, everything you've sacrificed, and the love you have given back to all of us, that's so important. You build us up as much as we build you up. And we love you. So much. Congrats. Huge congrats. Doesn't even hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say any more? Hold on. No, I'm that, good. I kind of got my last sentence was dumb. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, it was good. Dumb. <laughs> That's my mom Don't right let there. Her watch it. Always think about what you said. <laughs> That's awesome. But when when was this taken? This was yesterday. This was yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't even yeah. tell me they snuck out or something. That's that's so cool. It's really just crazy. Um, just seeing that too. Just uh, her reading that letter for my 17th birthday. Um, it's really the, the same message, you know, still really holds true. And that's, uh, you know, um, just continue to stay on my path and, and you know, ha uh, have all these new revelations, but continuing to breathe in God. So, I mean, that, that whole message was, um, it was amazing. Your family means yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Thank Appreciate you so much. Yeah. Thanks, guys.